Vitamin D is an essential steroid hormone needed for normal calcium and phosphorus homeostasis as well as proper development and maintenance of bone. Clinical manifestations of active vitamin D deficiency, including the development of secondary hyperparathyroidism in patients with chronic kidney disease, CKD, are well recognized. However, there is so much more to learn about the metabolism, mechanism of action, and physiologic functions of this essential hormone throughout the body. Vitamin D can be obtained from various sources, including diet and exposure to ultraviolet sunlight. However, vitamin D from these sources is not biologically active and cannot achieve full hormonal function until it is activated by the body. Metabolic activation consists of adding two separate hydroxyl groups, one at the carbon-25, which occurs through the liver, and the other at the carbon-1, which occurs through the kidneys. The final result is the most biologically active 125-dihydroxyvitamin D3. Any break in this activation process, such as inadequate oral intake, inadequate sunlight, liver disease, or kidney disease, can lead to active vitamin D deficiency. Patients with chronic kidney disease have a decreased ability to complete the final activation process, and as a result, are at increased risk for active D deficiency. Let's take a look at what happens to vitamin D once activated by the kidneys. Active D is fairly unstable and can rapidly degrade without the protection or attachment to a protein-based carrier. These protein carriers primarily consist of the vitamin D binding protein, DBP, and vitamin D receptor, VDR, two proteins central to the metabolism and mechanism of action of active D. Vitamin D is primarily transported to its target tissues through the vitamin D binding protein. The affinity of active D to this binding protein is one of the many factors that influence its biological activity and half-life. Once at the target cell, active D must be released from the vitamin D binding protein. Current evidence suggests that it is the unbound fraction or free hormone that has accessibility to target cells. Free active D taken up by target cells is either rapidly metabolized or bound to vitamin D receptors. Upon binding with active D, the vitamin D receptor undergoes conformational changes that allow it to interact with several other transcriptional factors within the nucleus. In order to interact with transcriptional factors and affect gene transcription, the active D vitamin D receptor complex must interact with a retinoid X receptor to form a heterodimer that can then bind to selective or promoter sites of the target cell DNA. This new complex then recruits various co-activators and or co-repressors that influence gene expression and alter cellular activity. This can include protein synthesis and secretion, cellular proliferation and or differentiation. What determines the overall cellular response is the cell type and location, the number or availability of vitamin D receptors, and the affinity of active D to these receptors. Vitamin D receptors are located in various target organs and cells throughout the body. The classic and most recognized organs associated with vitamin D and the regulation of calcium homeostasis and secondary hyperparathyroidism in chronic kidney disease include the kidneys, intestines, bone, and parathyroid glands. In the kidneys, vitamin D actively regulates calcium reabsorption through proximal tubule cells. In the intestines, active D regulates calcium and phosphate absorption. In the bones, active D regulates the activity of cells that remodel and build bone. In the parathyroid glands, active D decreases the synthesis and secretion of parathyroid hormone and regulates the proliferation of parathyroid gland cells. In addition, active D also renders the parathyroid glands to be more susceptible to the suppressive action of calcium. Vitamin D receptors have also been isolated throughout the body and are involved in various regulatory processes that extend beyond classic calcium homeostasis, mineral metabolism. Vitamin D receptors have been identified throughout the cardiovascular system, including cardiomyocytes and vascular smooth muscle cells. Currently, scientific research is underway to further explore the role of active D on the cardiovascular system. 
In addition, by regulating renin synthesis, vitamin D may have a regulatory role in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Vitamin D receptors are also located on most cell types of the immune system. Active D modulates T-cell differentiation, macrophage activation, and cytokine production. Vitamin D receptors have also been found in other tissues and systems throughout the body. Pancreas, skeletal muscle, lungs, central nervous system, reproductive organs, and skin. As you can see, active D is an essential hormone. Its biological function in association with vitamin D receptors is not limited to the classic organs associated with regulating calcium homeostasis and PTH production, but is active throughout the body, regulating a variety of physiologic processes. Scientific discovery is just at the surface of understanding the physiology and effects of active D throughout the body. Continued research and development is presently underway to learn more about this essential hormone.